Whatever you can possibly notice in your body, in your mind, in the world, has only one place to appear in your conscious experience. Now, I'm not saying this is all just a dream, but as a neurological matter, it is very much like a dream. It is a dream that is constrained by inputs from the external world. And the dreams we call dreams at night are, are dreams that are not constrained by the external world. And that's why you seem to be able to get away with everything. But your, your mind is all you have. Okay, it's all you've ever had. It's all you have to offer other people. Okay, and then this might sound callous to say when there, when there may be many other aspects of your life that seem in need of, of being addressed when, you, when you're trying to, struggling to find a career or, or you're sick, but it's still true. If, if you're perpetually angry and depressed and confused and unloving, it doesn't matter how much success you have or who is in your life, you're not going to enjoy any of it. I suspect you could all make a list of things you want to accomplish, the things you, that really need to be changed about your life. What is the significance of everything on that list? Each thing on that list seems to promise that if, if you could only do it, you would have reason to just be happy in the present moment. We are all trying to find a path back to the present moment and good enough reason to just be happy here. And the practice of meditation I just showed you, often called mindfulness meditation, is just a trick for doing that. It's a trick for setting aside your to-do list, if only for a few moments, and actually locate a feeling of fulfillment in the present.